Hello, Jungle Explorer here, and today what I'm going to be showing you is how to hook up a 12 volt inverter to a 36 volt golf cart battery system. Now on a golf cart you have you don't have 12 volt batteries like you have in your car. You have 6 volt batteries that are running series, which means that each battery adds an additional 6 volts to the whole system. Um, so this is the first battery. We've got the the, the main hot cable here, positive. Um, and uh, so it's run the negative to the positive, negative to the positive, negative, negative to the positive, sorry, yeah, and negative to the positive, negative to the positive. So each battery adds an additional six volts. So you start off with six, you go to this one 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36. So the output voltage of the, the total batteries is 36. So let me show you that right there. Go ahead and clamp this onto the positive. Now these batteries are fully charged. One thing about DC is that when things are fully charged, um, they're going to be a little higher. DC kind of start kind of is on a curve. A fully charged battery is going to be higher than its rated voltage, and as it uses power uh, and it's, it's stored energy, that voltage is going to drop down below the the actual uh, stated voltage. To there's a there's a basically a, a range of usage there. So this is going to be more than 36 volts. So what we see here is we have 39.42 volts. That's because this system is completely and fully charged to its maximum capacity. So it's ready to go. I just took it off the charger. It's been on a charger all night. So it normally be 36 volts, but each each battery is is a little more than uh, than six volts. So let's go ahead and check the battery one. We're going to see that is not six volts. 6.5 volts. Okay. Now. We need 12 volts, right? So in order to get 12 volts out of a 34 volt system, all you have to do is basically do your own calculations. You know, six plus six equals 12. So any two batteries in the system is going to give you 12 volts. So let's go over here to this battery here. And we see we have 13.113 volts. As I said, it's gonna be a little higher. Um, so you have, you ha there's your 12 volts. So if you want 12 volts in the system, all you got to do is connect between two, two batteries. If you need 18 volts, you could go, you could go to this battery over here. And there we go. We have our 18 volts. So um, that's how we're going to get it. Now the main battery's got quite a bit of connections on it right here. So I'm not going to uh, connect to it. So what I'm going to do is just go from this battery. Well, that one's got some there. Let me see which two batteries I want to use here. Uh, we'll go ahead and use that battery there. We'll go here to here, and there we go. We've got our 12 volts. So let's go ahead and hook this system up, and uh, we'll see how she works. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead, take this. Oops, got the wrong socket. Got my socket system here. Give me a 9 16 socket. Where you at? All right, so what I'm gonna do is just uh, take this off here. You see it's already got another wire in there. I'm gonna take this off here. Okay. So we've got two. Now my my inverter already came with a couple of a good b battery cables here to hook it up with, but they're a little bit bigger than the nut size. This is a 5 16 inch, inch nut uh, bolt. This is a 3 8 inch hole. So what I'm going to do to rectify that, hold on a second here, is I'm going to add a washer. Now DC doesn't travel well. It, has a lot of resistance and that's why on DC power you use such big wires whereas as your AC power in your house uh, uses much smaller wires. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a copper washer here to this system. So this is our positive. I'm going to put this down on here and uh, put a copper washer on there and that is going to give it more surface connection. When you have a high draw, this is a pretty strong 1500 watt um, uh, 
inverter, you want to get as much contact as possible. So I'm just going to put the washer on here. That'll give it more surface area to contact since the hole's a little bigger. Go ahead and stick this. This is just a I'm gonna get this underneath here. There we go. Need to do that. Okay, so we've got that on there. I'm gonna see where I'm gonna run this at. I'm gonna be using it out the back here. So let me move some stuff out of here. Working kind of. It's windy today again. Uh, where I live, it's always windy. So. I'm fighting the wind again, but I'm here behind this old RV trying to get some shelter out of the wind. One of these days I'll get a wind isolating mic and it'll solve that, but right now I don't have that, so I've got this inverter here. I'm going to go ahead and hook this up, pull this off. <laughs> Obviously on DC, red to red, black to back, black to black. Looks like this might be able to use a nice copper washer too. Let me get a couple of those. I like, I like maximum connectivity. Copper is a, a really good conductor. That's why they use it in residential wiring and stuff. It's better than steel. So it'll give us more surface value. that will give us more power availability. You know what I did? forgot to put the cover on here so this is a brand new inverter never used it before so hopefully it works put this uh, cover back down here that way put my copper washer on there we go that up a little. Nice, good, tighten it up there. See, it has some power there. You know what, I'm going to flip this over. Here we go. Put that on there. And get that nut lined up. Uh, back up, so there we go. Of course, I can move it to wherever I want to move it to. Go ahead and get this on here. And this 
a good nice snug tightening up all right we're ready to go and we're gonna go give this use actually gonna go out and cut some firewood about to do a barbecue and a couple little hogs I got last night and uh, so I needed some uh, inverted I have a, an electric chainsaw that I'm gonna run and go cut some mesquite wood for the barbecue so I'll uh, video that as I'm doing it okay so electric chainsaw over there I got my heavy-duty cord run here so let's fire this sucker up there we go works great well if you've enjoyed this video gotta help please like subscribe and comment.